now. Oscar Ingolfsson, 43-year-old arms company executive, pulls down $3.3 million per year. Oh, we're going to find some stuff on you, Oscar. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in Need to Know for another session with the selfish version of Vincent Halle. Now, we are at the end of day four. Uh, in our previous run, where we were sort of like the, uh, the straight-laced company man, when we went home, that's when the loan shark showed up, and that was pretty much the end of our run, because we didn't get enough money, and he came in to, well, I'm assuming break our knees. Uh, in this case, we just got the text message from our anonymous benefactor. Here it is, big prize today, what's the clue? So, let's give him the key. Do you really need to talk like that? Here's the key. Uh, one thought that you guys had come up with in the comments was what happens if we try and get out. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to play this out to the end. We're going to do the whole thing where all we do is try and sort of benefit ourselves. And then, depending on whether or not there are any other forks down the road... Uh, I may put together a stinger video where, yeah, the full, you know, the, the, the formal playthrough is done, but we'll explore all the different options that we could possibly take. You know, what happens if we say no here? You know, what happens if, I don't know, um, we say no after the first day, whatever it is, right? We'll just see what, we'll just see what possibilities there are, if there are enough, and I'll put together uh, a sort of separate little standalone video. Okay, so in the meantime, let's give them the key. Okay, no, but I do anyway, because he has to talk like that. Okay, here we go. Let's go home and see what happens. Okay. Nothing? Nothing. Okay, let's connect up. Okay, as you see, we're still at 100% compliance, because, I, like I said, we have to uh, keep up the veneer of being a model employee. Ah, our dad, Roger Halle. Let's just check in with him. Roger Halle, good bloke, humble, hard-nosed, dead wife. Thanks, Codex. Eesh. Brian Castaneda to Roger Halle. St. Bartholomew's wishes to remind you that your procedure is still pending payment, and that your reservation will only be open for another two days. We hope all is well. Okay. Uh, Leia. Leia, have you told Vince yet? Roger, not yet. Leia, are you still so mad at him? Roger, I, I'm angry at myself. He's a good kid. Well, mostly. I'll call him tomorrow, okay? Okay. Uh, well, we always knew we are not going to do anything to blackmail our dads, so, you know. Now, Oscar Ingolfsson, 43-year-old arms company executive, pulls down $3.3 million per year. Oh, we're going to find some stuff on you, Oscar. Uh, born on an American cargo ship, expert Go player, many DC connections in both parties, and he's bipolar. Okay, let's open up these three. Whoa, there's a lot. Uh, Oscar Ingolfsson to Rolf Trosk. Never say I don't like you. Uh, big product reveal next week, amigo. Bye, bye, bye. Can't give you any more, but get in on the ground floor. Uh, this is illegal as shit, so you officially owe me a kidney. Oh, Oscar. You are going to pay for my dad's operation. One way or the other. Okay, take this as well. Okay, we can't, we can't mark off, no, we can't mark off who was like a recipient or something, fine. Uh, let's look at the Hootbox stuff first. Hootbox posts. Filkier Gum is delighted to announce a new $448 million contract with the KSA. Okay. Wait, hold on, when did this get sent? The 24th of July. Um, nope, this is not related to any of this stuff. Just saw some of our S7s on the news, beautiful machines. And then, taking 12 screaming kids to the to the baseball, more harrowing than any war zone. All right, that's useless to me. Let's see, Ayaka. Ayaka, honey, can you pick up parsley on the way home? Oscar, curly or Italian? Ayaka, I'm making tabbouleh. Oscar, ah, say no more. All right, that's useless to me. Robin, Robin, we're, st <laughs> Robin, we're still getting bad press after that civilian shelling. Oscar, ignore it. Once we sell it, it's not our problem. <laughs> Robin, what do I tell the post? Oscar, tell them to find some real news. Yeah, you're going to take that. Okay. 
I think that's all we can get out of Oscar, but that seems to be quite a bit, actually. So let's get this done. There were two more here. Randall. Our boss. I'm going to assume that it's probably not a smart move to investigate and blackmail our boss, but you know what? Let's at least poke around in his dirty laundry a little. Purchases. Well, first of all, 41. DOL manager. 73,000. So he makes about twice as much as we do. Uh, will follow orders. Vindictive streak. Yeah, I can tell. Cannot maintain romantic relationships. Very self-conscious about his appearance. Okay. Uh, 1X. The Five-Step Leadership Paradigm by Jeffrey Voss. Uh, the Management Bible by Rod Greco. And then Randall Joyce to Estelle Cohen. Uh, so, I'll pick you up at 8 in my new Lincoln. It's my work car. Very expensive. You're a lucky girl, winky face. Creepy, Randall. Creepy. Uh, okay, and then browser history. Sleeping Giant, unleash your potential today. Russian match. Mail order brides. Instant popularity, make people like you. Uh, make people like you, rather. Um... Holy moly, 38 visits to Russian match? Randall. Now, we're not going to do anything to you, uh, but in that follow-up video I mentioned, we are definitely going to see what happens if I toss this into our little, like, blackmail hopper. Okay, nothing for you, thank you. What's, who's the other one? Victoria Prasad. Victoria? Isn't her name Jessica? Okay. Victoria, age 30, DOL analyst, makes... 39th? She makes more than me? Come on. Anyway, has uh, politically dubious acquaintances, hobbyist game developer, birthmark at base of neck, often ill as a child. Okay, let's see what she's got cooking. Start here. Browser history. Search Tiki Bars, DC area. Rockheads, US Climbing Forum. Video, soft cut, crease makeup tutorial. Okay. Victoria Prasad, Hootbox Posts. Uh, rock climbing's all fun and games until somebody falls on their butt. True. Uh, unless you're belayed, in which case, you know, shouldn't really happen. Uh, so, when do I get my levitating umbrellas, drone engineers? Yeah, I'm with you on that idea. And then, was watching Quest for Peace. That's how I knew it was time for bed. Okay. Mona. Mona, what about that guy from work? Victoria Vince? Yeah, he's fun. Uh, impenetrable at times, but fun. Mona, ooh, is that wedding bells I hear? Victoria, I'm gonna slap you. Okay, well, there's nothing there. Okay, so we got Oscar, uh, gun, gun runner, basically, or, you know, gun company exec. Uh, let's see if that does it for the day. Let's get out of here. Okay. What do we got? Anonymous. Uh, thank you, Concerned Citizen, for signing up to our Neighborhood Watch program. People like you help keep our streets safe. Now, also look for criminal activity. If you see anything illegal, send to me. Evidence of robbery, murder, anything. Vincent, you have only the purest intentions, I'm sure. Anonymous, where to send proceeds? Hmm, to my account? Okay, Vincent, to my account, or you seem to know everything. How about this? Pay my dad's medical bills. Hmm. Well, we know that that our dad's going to call us the next day. He's got two days to make the money. So in theory, he should be able to ask us for the money. My only concern, you know, paying off my dad's medical bills is a thing. But, the, but my concern is, if we just have random, anonymous, shady character just pay off the bill, it's going to, first off, implicate our dad. Uh, second of all, it's going to look weird. He's not going to know where that money came from, and it's going to get very, very complicated very, very quickly. So why not give us the money so then we can give Dad the money? Right? That's the theory. Um, so let's do that. Let's give the account to me. Uh, as I said in the Stinger video, we're going to see what happens when we say put the money, you know, pay off Dad's medical bills. But for now, to my account, obviously. Done. Good. What is that? Oh, here it is. Lee. Come here. Lee Branch. Vinny! Sorry I'm late, but my esteemed friends at the Baltimore Police Department have paid me a visit. Uh, something about a text message. Uh, you might not see me for a while, but I'll be seeing you in a manner of speaking. So, Vinny, don't make me be gauche. I assume your debt is tied up in a ribbon for me with a handwritten note? 
Vincent, you know me so well. I'm sending it now. I don't have it right now, but I'll see you when I see you, Lee. Um, now, I want to give him the money because, I mean, I'm assuming that if we say no, he's just going to send some goons to take out our knees anyway. But again, something to explore in that Stinger video. So, you know me so well. I'm sending it right now. Lee, Vinny, what did I say? I knew you'd come through. Tears. Tears in my eyes here. I always trust in a friend. See you around, buddy. Nice. Speaking of see you around, how much do I have? That's not enough. That is not enough to pay for our dad's operation, isn't it? I think it's like a hundred grand to pay for the operation. All right, well, we'll see. We'll find out what happens. Probably we can get more money tomorrow, right? Let's go to work. Wait, let's go to work. We got another day? Holy moly, remember, because we used, we we got cut off by Lee last time. Jessica, Vince, have you heard? <laughs> the Lions finally disbanded so I can stop having my hopes crushed every year? Or, yeah, I got the email. Hooray for us, right? Well, let's do this. The Lions disbanded. Jessica, we're keeping our special powers. More snooping for us, I, I guess. Joyce is talking to some head honchos right now. Vincent, fantastic news for us all. Oh, here it comes. Randall. Well, Holly, despite your best efforts, our section has received a commendation. Yeah, how's that Russian wife working out for you, Randall? Vincent, I heard we're keeping the new powers. Randall, yes, so there's even more work for you to avoid. Get back to it. Ah, oh, Joyce, you bring me nothing but trouble. Okay, let's log in. Now, this is all new, so we are going to play this together, gang. Operation Cinder Sweep Phase C. That's right. Remember when we first started this on like the first day of the week, so Monday. Um, they said we'd do this three times. So this is the final phase of Operation Cinder Sweep, Agent Holly, and congratulations on your performance so far. That's right. Any suspects from your weekly pool not found guilty today will be eliminated from investigation. Good luck. Objective, identify threats, crimes, and criminal behavior. J.S. McMahon. Let's see... Black Sheep 4, any proof of theft, violent threats, intent to murder, intent to break and enter, inciting public disorder, New Dawn, and Black Mountain. And then we are flagging for research, DOL, Mars Sports, SSE Airways, and the word President. Let's go. There we go, Phase C. Identify threats, crimes, and criminal behavior. This is all that's left. Remember, we started off with like 13, and now we're down to 7. Travis. You just misunderstood, Travis. Please tell me I don't have to arrest you now. And I like you. Um, let's start here. Browser history, 102 ideas for hobbies. Man. Tackling social anxiety, okay. And 10 keys to improve confidence. Cool. Uh, message, Tori. This is the girl that he had like a, a crush on or something. Tori, hey, I'm glad we talked at Matt's. Travis, I'm just glad I didn't do anything stupid. Sorry for being so weird lately. Tori, smiley face. So, we're still friends? Travis, wouldn't have it any other way. Smiley face. Purchases. 1X, The Sea and the Storm by Walter Beard. And 1X, Rabona Cross Trainers. Mercury Sports. Mercury Sports? Mars Sports. Fine. Good, man. Good for you. Getting out there, getting a little exercise. Safe. Okay, come here. Alexi, the psychopath slash, like, basically womanizer slash basically kind of a fraud, right? Like, he defrauds the women he goes out with. Uh, Alexi to Officer McDowell. Georgia Rice, I am distraught to hear Miss Rice's disappearance. To answer your query, the last time I saw her was at Frankie's bar. Please let me know if there's anything at all I can do to help. Boot box posts, making stacks down at Caesars. Come join, only bad girls need apply. Winky face. Uh, also, live and love in that penthouse life. And Alexi, praying for safe return of Georgia Rice. Only met her briefly, but he, he? Touched my heart. Maybe that's a typo. She touched my heart. Huh. Eh, there's nothing there to put him away. It's not proof of anything. Or any of this stuff at all. Okay, messages, red dress brunette. Hey, babe, I missed you when I woke up. Didn't I already read this? Uh, Alexi, aw, me too, baby girl. Did you transfer that cash, BT dubs? Red dress brunette, of course I did, XX. So, 
What are you doing tonight, winky face? Hmm. Still nothing. I mean, he's questionably seedy, but you're safe, man. Let's move on. Who else do we have? Nicholas, you are the college student who likes to be an activist. Sort of, kind of. You're like a rainy day activist, right? Uh, what do we got? Browser history. Search. What is socialism? Good to know. Video. Eight hours of freestyle mandolin. Search. 2000s band albino lead singer that with weird eye punched Fred Durst. Okay. Hootbox posts. Nicholas uh, Guillaume. If this corrupt college doesn't change its bike path position, we have no choice. Hashtag riot. Inciting public disorder. And Nicholas Guillaume. Been talking to other groups to help with our struggle. Socialism or death. And you don't even know what socialism is. All right, moving on. <laughs> Who knows where I can get a decent grain bowl? You know what, it's just... there. Because I know they want me to flag it, but it's just so... Hopefully they talk to him and he just, like, they let him go because he just knows nothing. Okay, Rudy. Bro. Protest tomorrow at St. Edward's about lunch meat. You down? Nicholas. Timage? Rudy. 11 a.m. Nicholas. Pass. <laughs> okay, so this is the only thing that we got on him. The uh, Rhett. Okay. Let's go. Mike Marin. Mike, you are the, uh... Yeah, you're the guy who had all the guns. Uh, well, let's start here. Messages. Gordy. Awesome day. The rifles were a blast. Mike. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed it. Gordy, remember, we're here for you, buddy. In a completely manly way. Mike. Appreciate it, man. Okay. Bootbox posts. Thanks to all the boys for a great day at the range. Uh, relieved that I finally told everyone about my cancer situation. I feel silly now. Thank you all so much for your support. And taking some time off work to be with my family. Thanks, boss. Well, that's cool. That's good. Nothing here for us to research, right? Nope. Okay, you are safe. Awesome, man. I mean, he still has cancer, but it's good to see that, like, all of that stuff was, you know, it's a huge misunderstanding. All right, what else we got? Purchases, Department of Liberty, do do do. Frozen spaghetti. One, kid's guide to dinosaurs and a Ranger .45 pistol at a pawn shop, okay. Best shooting distance to kill a person. Alma, I am surprised. Street search, Martha's Vineyard and traffic reports for Boston. You went here six times? Really? All right, fine. Uh, let's see. Message. Hamza. Alma. Are you running late, Hamza? I made lasagna and the children are waiting. Frozen spaghetti, Alma. Anyway. Hamza. Sorry, had to work late with Miriam. Don't wait up. Smiley face. Mm-hmm. Alma. Okay, dear. Love you. Yeah. Okay. She's gonna try and kill her husband. Or at least it looks that way. That's a threat. Let's go with Marie. Fine. Marie! Do, do, do. Let's see all three of these. Uh, let's start here. Henry! Uh, do, do, do. Maria, Henry, you know that I love you, right? Henry, well, I love you too, X. Now, what did I do to deserve that? Marie, I just felt like saying it. Okay. Marie, to everyone, I'll be taking a break from the business for a short time. I hope you continue to work with and trust in us. In the interim, Lisa will be taking the helm in her more than capable hands. All the best. Now, she was, like, being blackmailed by someone, right? Adrian, isn't Adrian another person? Marie Duvall to Adrian Watkins. Uh, did you, yeah, she was, like, the government person getting getting kickbacks. Here, that duck of. Here, I won't pay you, and this has gone on long enough. I've, re I've regretted stealing that money for all these years, so I'm finally going to confess. Oh, and tell them your part in it. Goodbye, Adrian. Hey. Is there anything else? Anything else? Nope. You're a threat, but I'm assuming that you're going to turn states or you're going to cooperate and that's going to be enough. Tell me the next one is Adrian. Yeah, perfect. Because she was, the last time we read anything was like she was going to the Bahamas or something. Here it is. Adrian to Marie. 
Don't even try, bitch. With my connections, I can steal what I like and no one can touch me. Least of all you. Bam. Let's see. Browser history. SSE Airways canceling tickets. SSE Airways. SSE Airways. There we go. Uh-huh. More common Avanti criminal defense lawyers. I'm assuming it's just to cover her basis. And the state news front page. Okay. Rex. Adrian, I need your services. Now. Rex, I'm kind of busy. Adrian, drop it. Drive over to 154 Ranch Avenue. When everyone's gone, search it. More details coming. That feels oddly like you want her to break into, I'm assuming, Mar Mary's house. Just throwing it out there. Okay, well, we got these two things. Let's see. Threat. And I think that accounts for... Yeah, everyone. Let's submit our analysis. Nice. Five of five, no incorrect evidence, and seven of seven appropriate decisions. Right? She was a threat. Marie was a threat. Adrian was a threat. Alexi disturbs me, but he's safe. Good on Mike. He's safe. Nicholas, I'm assuming he's going to get let go. Travis, good on you, man. Safe. Plus 38. Not that it really does anything, but listen, we're a model employee. Except that we use back-end access in order to further our own economic goals. Okie dokie. End session. Okay, complete. Almazaki ta tailed and stopped en route to husband with his mistress. Marie Duval cooperating with police regarding a minor 2011 embezzlement. Adrian arrested. Several more witnesses come forward. Step down from city council. Alexei Yaronik cleared. Mike Marin cleared. Nicholas Guillaume, contacted by campus police, seemed unaware of potential crime. Of course. Travis, cleared. You go, Travis. And that's the end of day five. Je see, Jessica, not Victoria. Jessica, so, the rain's been checked. How about that drink? Vincent, you know what? I'd love to. How about that new tiki place on George? Jessica, tiki? You read my mind. We're gonna go get that drink now? Also, we didn't get contacted by that guy. Oh, here it is. Dad. Roger. Hello? Vincent. Hey, Dad. Roger. Vincent! How are you? How's that, uh, how's that promotion? Vincent. It's actually looking pretty good, Dad. I I'm impressed you remembered, actually. Roger. Of course I remembered. You're my son. Stupid question. Vincent. Mm. Roger. Well, <laughs> I'm sure you're very busy in the big city, so I'll, I'll let you go. Vincent, wait, Dad, do, do you think you... Do you think there'll be a place for me at Christmas this year? Roger, oh. I'm sure we can organize something. Might have to get the long table out from the den, but that, that's not too much trouble. Vincent, sounds great. And, and Dad, t take care, okay? Roger, you too, son. Wait, really? Nobody asked us for the money? Alright. I not... Hey, where are you, man? Where were you at the end of the at the end of the workday? Here it is, anonymous. Need instant cash? Reply yes to get it now. Vincent, hey, I want to thank you for this opportunity, but I've I've really appreciated, but I, I think I'm done. Nah, Vinny, there's no getting out now. There it is, anonymous. It's a little late for that, Vincent. Vincent, you, you can't threaten me. If you turn me in, I have more than enough evidence for the DOL to find you too. Anonymous, Vincent. <laughs> this is the DOL. You were in contact with a syndicate operating out of Arizona. They're off, and we, the perps abandoned their office, but you wouldn't believe the contacts we've recovered. Imagine our surprise when we found you, a newly promoted agent. I know you're thinking about running now, but I'd advise, to get, I'd advise against it. See you soon. Yeah. Nice. Black Bag Brigade. Cool. Cool. Um, so, that's what happens when you're purely selfish. Interesting. I mean, you're... You get messed with either way. We just get an extra day in this case. Uh, I'm assuming in the longer game, like, it, it really could work out in, in much more diverse ways. Um, 
As I said, I will put another video together. It will be much more of a compilation type of video in the sense of I'm basically going to do a lot of the different potential forks or things that I think might be forks. So, for example, you know, what happens if we decide to not give the key at some point in in this process? Probably the last day. We'll just do that and see if it works or if it changes anything. What happens? I want to see what happens if we investigate uh, either Joyce or Jessica Victoria, whatever her name is, actually. Um, I want to see what happens if we don't give Lee the money, even though he, like, when he's going to jail. I'm assuming that's going to be the end of the game, but I just want to see. And I am curious to know what happens if we put them, or if we ask the guy to pay off our dad's medical bills, if anything changes. Okay? So we're going to do all those things. It's, it's really just going to be a quick sort of whistle-stop compilation. It's not going to be a full playthrough unless something significant changes. Okay? Uh, so that's that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts on this game, you think of any other possibilities that I can try. Uh, if you think of any other forks, meaning. Uh, or if you think I'm doing something wrong, overlooking something, etc. By all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better, <laughs>